Hey, remember the Alamo, remember the Alamo. Hey everybody, this is Colonel Carson with Family Tree Nuts. This video is gonna be a little bit different than what we normally do, because there's people all over the place. We can't set up. I'm gonna give you a bunch of facts. You see right behind me there, that's the Alamo. I know a lot of people, uh, when they see different things, Statue of Liberty, different things like that, uh, it's always smaller than what they anticipated, and it is. So I'm gonna take you for, uh, for those of you that haven't been here, I'm gonna give you some random facts and things and kind of show you the area for those people that are not able to come there. But you see the Alamo right there? Believe it or not, this place was a lot bigger than, uh, a lot bigger than just that little church right there. The Alamo was about four acres uh, large right there. And I'm taking you over here to these, these bronze places so you can kind of get a, an idea of how big this area is. See, that's the Alamo where we were just staying in the church right there itself. But you see, it was a larger complex that was used as a mission by the Spanish to uh, help the uh, Native Americans that were in the area. The building that you see behind me right there is even older. They came here in 1691. That's the two buildings. We got the church and then we've also got the Convico right there where uh, the priests and things lived and worked. Um, Right back over here would have been the homes of the uh, Native Americans that they would use to train and things like that. So those are the two buildings that are remaining. Um, the church was started being built in 1744, but it fell and then it was built in 1756. So that symbol of the Alamo right there, guys, that was before we signed the Declaration of Independence. 1756, I think we we're doing the French and Indian War back east on that. You see the, the, the monument that's back here. It's got all the names of the 189 men that uh, fell here at the Alamo. You know, um, those men fought against 2,500 of Santa Ana's troops. And I'm not gonna give you the whole story of the Alamo. Uh, it's something that uh, most people know and uh, some you can look up, but I, the purpose of this video, I just wanted to take you here. Some of the people you see there is Mr. Bonham and James Bowie. You remember his Arkansas toothpick that he's got there, this Bowie knife. There's a name right here, David Crockett. I know you Tennessee people are gonna love to see that. Over around the, the front of the monument here, we've got the American flag and the Texas flag. And then we've got more names of the people. I wanted to show you the front of that monument over there because uh, it's called, it has a uh, four figures, three of them kneel down, one rising up and there's flames around them. It's called the spirit of sacrifice because of the sacrifice that the, the men gave here gave time for the organization of the armies of uh, Houston, Sam Houston to uh, beat Santa Ana. And the reason there's flames around there is that the people that were here didn't even get a proper burial. The 189 men that fell, they actually were just burned in four different pyres here around town. There's more, more of the uh, names, more of the figures right there. Of course, you can see uh, Colonel Travis and uh, everybody's buddy, Davy Crockett right there. Looks a little different than Fess Parker and John Wayne. Right across the street, you've got all the different shops and things. Like I say, we're right smack dab in the middle of town. There's a Guinness Book of World Records uh, building. The River Walk is really close by. And uh, the needle, oh, now we can see the, uh, you see the figure right there, standing on top of the figures, arms raised up, flames all around, the spirit of sacrifice. I thought that was a, uh, a pretty powerful monument right there. So. Like I said, the battle was 189 men versus 2,500 of Santa Ana's Mexican army. Lasted only about 90 minutes. I'll post some pictures and stuff that were from around here. They uh, have many stories. They know where uh, Travis fell, where uh, Davy Crockett fell, and they've got some placards there. They've got statues and things around back, wonderful museums that are here. And uh, we took a guided tour and our tour guide, Robert, is the man. He uh, was awesome at doing it. He's from uh, Kingston, North Carolina. So you see it back there. That's the uh, Alamo right there. Remember the Alamo. Come and take it. The spirit of Texas, the spirit of the United States in general. So wanted to bring you here, guys. We'll sign off for now. And uh, hey, remember the Alamo and remember family tree nuts. Let our nuts find the nuts in your family tree.